What's up, guys? This is I Airsoft Man bringing you a sniper review on the L96 A1. Don't know the exact name, so yeah, comment, tell me what it is called. Eh. I'm just gonna go over everything. Crazy and see, man's gonna hate me. Metal, 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 rubbery, hard rubber, metal, metal, plastic, rail, metal, metal scope, metal covering. Comes with a nice covering on the scope. They don't scratch it. Um, plastic trigger guard, hard plastic though, hard uh plastic trigger. Full action. Sticks a little bit at first, but all around it's a good gun. Um, the scope is very nice. Variable zoom in. Um, the scope doesn't have a glare. Actually, when it's, it looks like sunglasses when you're looking into it, when it's really sunny out, it gives it like that light faded color, so it's not all shiny in your eye. Um, the butt stock, it's like this hard uh, rubber, feels very comfortable. Doesn't even have a grip on the back, but like it's good. It will come off your shoulder. It's very good. The magazine's plastic, but yeah, it's plastic. It's still good though. We haven't had it crack yet or anything like that. Um, the it's good for a speed loader. So you can just pop it right in, loads it up good. The mag goes right in. The only uh, weird thing about the uh, mag is the button release. I have a hard time getting it open with gloves on. Like, just with, like, winter gloves, that's pretty hard. But I guess if you have, like, real airsoft gloves, I call them, it comes out pretty easy. Well, just because the gun's brand new, probably. But, yeah. Also, you get a bipod that comes with it. Adjustable bipod. It's very nice that comes with it. It's, um... Just push that up, opens up, you unscrew this, you can pull out the bipod, um, it has the sling mount on the rail, comes with it, it's metal sling, no I'm lying, it's plastic sling mounts, metal bipod, everything's metal about it, um, yeah, it's just a very nice sniper rifle all around, I would recommend it for starters, even for pros too, like I really don't find a lot of cons about it, except for like the plastic uh think the plastic oh it's not brain dead for the plastic for the sling mount um and the trigger and the trigger guards like it's hard plastic but that's about the cons on this and yeah you have to get a sighted thing because when you go to shoot it it would drag a different way but barrel yeah the barrel of this it's a, it's a longer barrel, so it's better. It's more accurate. I prefer, uh, like, uh, some people use 40, 40 grams in their sniper rifle, but I really don't know. Um, I don't, didn't, I didn't use a lot of BBs for this yet, except for the 26 or whatever they are, 25s. But all around, it's a good sniper rifle for starters. Um, this isn't one of those guns where you drop it, it's gonna break. Like, this is a sniper rifle where you can crawl in mud. Um, you can crawl on sand. It's not going to get messed up. It's a very good. It's also like about this when it gets dirty on this uh, rubber. You can just take a wipey too and just wipe it right off, or just a rag. Really good to clean the gun. Um, I like how it's all black. It's very good camouflage. You don't have to spray paint it or anything like that. This is basically everything that came with the gun, except of the sling. But yeah, this is a. I think, I'm not sure, does it, I don't know, does this sling come with it? Yeah, the sling came with it, but I recommend getting different sling. I really don't it like the sling that much. Yeah, it falls off a lot. I wouldn't recommend, like, trotting in the woods with it and it falls make off your back. Make sure you hold it. Yeah, I would hold the gun. But it's not going to break if you drop this gun. I wouldn't want to drop it because of the scope. It's actually a good, really good scope. I wouldn't want to break it. It'd probably it'd be good with iron sights on it, too, though, is that? Iron sights, but yeah, this was going 480, 500 FPS right out of the box. So yeah, I recommend this sniper to anybody.
price range was, we really don't know, it's Christmas present, but 120 But I'm looking around, we would say $100, $200 for the sniper rifle. $120 to $200 around there. It's good. I would buy this, definitely. You know, for the sniper rifle, your loadout wouldn't be that much expensive. You'd only need maybe like a, a desert suit, a ghillie suit, which you could probably get on a lot of markets, or you could just make them yourself with a potato sack, like they used to do in a World War too. But... Yes, this gun is a very light loadout. The gun itself has realistic weight to it. I don't really want to judge you. I want to say six to seven pounds, but I'm not sure. Not exact, but yeah. So, I airsoft man out. Hope you guys like this review on my sniper report.